we thank God at least uh, we prevail. And, uh, the rest will unfold in the process of God. Sure. Your word of encouragement maybe to those that may want to relent in uh, supporting you and uh, maybe they may break down because you seem to be in high spirits yourself. Yes, please. I want to thank everyone for the support that has been given. Uh, I never knew that I could have such kind of support. So I can't even mention the names because it has been all very uh, beyond what I could comprehend. Um, it has given me strength. I'm not alone in this uh, battle. So, yeah, let's, let's press on and the truth will come out. Thank you so much, Thank Bishop. You. Hi guys, it's Sigo Alena Matams, also known as Gelo Opezed. Umwanakashu of Zambia. It simply means a girl from Zambia. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that each time I upload videos, you will be notified that I have uploaded a video. Now today, I just want to talk about my videos which I have posted yesterday and it's kind of like a reaction and I've also got some other videos that I want to add within the videos. So I'm doing two separate videos so that we focus on each video separately because of the topics. So this one is video one. And I just want to talk about um, the ritual killings that have been happening in Zambia. I've talked about them in my videos and I have talked about Bishop Kazila who was arrested. Now the good news is that he has been released. He was released I believe on the 29th of January 2020. But he's on bail, police bail. He awaits his trial whilst he's on police bail, obviously that's what it means. I've also got a video of him just talking briefly about him being happy that he has been released out of the cells, prison cells. And then another video of him, the first thing he did after the brief statement that he made was go to the church, his church, and just laid on the altar where he just worshipped and thanked God that he came out alive. Like I told you guys in my video, uh, the previous video where I, I did mention that this man was arrested simply because he called for prayers for the ritual killings. Now, um, I came across a video, another video, I've come across another video of a pastor. This is a different pastor and I believe the pastor is Ghanaian and he's based in Zambia. I will add the video in this video so that you should watch and also pray if you're Zambian uh, because he says a lot of things about the vision he's had with regards to the ritual killings. Now most of you people who follow me on my Facebook page, I sometimes just wake up one morning and just say let's pray. I've called for prayers many many times. Before I left for Zambia, I had a dream. It, it, the video is still on my, my Facebook page. I had a dream and immediately I woke up from the dream. The first thing I did was go on Facebook Live and I asked people, let's pray for Zambia. Now, it may sound funny to some people, obviously, who don't believe in dreams, but it's something that only a few people know, but I'm now sharing with you that I have a gift of dreams. When I dream of things, they come to pass. Uh, I think I have shared with my subscribers about my dad's death, which I had dreamt before. But with this dream, I dreamt that I was in Zambia at my mom's place and some thieves came over with machetes and they were looking for just anybody to just kill. And I was like, why would these people just come and be looking for people? I was in the UK, guys. I'm in the UK, but I was dreaming that I'm at my mother's place in Zambia. So automatically I knew that the reason why I was having that dream was because God wanted me to pray for my country, Zambia. That's obviously why God even gave me that dream. So I saw those guys trying to uh, kill whoever, do whatever with the machetes. And they came to where we were, but they passed us. And you know, the reason why they passed us was because we were in prayer. There's a lady that has testified in Chingola who experienced the same situation whereby these ritual killers went to her house and because she was in prayer, they couldn't see anybody 
in the household. It was, you know, when I was listening to that audio, it was more like a deja vu. If you, if you follow me keenly on my Facebook page, the video is still there. Maybe I'll link it down below here so that you can watch when I woke up that morning, no makeup. I just covered my head and I said, let's pray for Zambia because I saw bloodshed. Now, I, I feel I'm too small to bring such big topics. You know, there's other senior men of God and women out there that can even speak to the president or speak to the leadership. And I, I just feel I'm, I'm too small, too young to even advise anybody. So with my little community on Facebook, we prayed and we just covered our families from any harm. Now, this pastor... He is saying in his video that the ritual killings are satanic. These are sacrifices that have been made because of the deity which has demanded for loads, loads of blood. There's um, audio and audio that has leaked where some people were saying that uh, they've been asked to do what they have to do for the sake of youtube i don't need to use a bad language do what they have to do get rid of people up to a thousand souls now in this video the man says that the souls and the, the blood is not even enough the cup is not even full yet so you see car crashes you will see so many things happening in in zambia i did a live stream after the cr1 videos and, and this man is also kind of like responding to what Sia Wan also said because Sia Wan who is on the dark side but is able to see what's going to be happening said in his long video the one that's on my youtube channel guys that there will be bloodshed in Zambia that a lot of car crashes will happen barely a few days ago we had car crashes we've had a truck a truck just running into people that are just um, standing in the market in Osaka. This is a truck that was doing its own business on the road, but it lost control from nowhere. And it's going to happen often, according to what these pastors have said. I know people can refute these claims and say, oh, they are not men of God. But if we have a connection to a certain land and God wants to reveal uh, these things through us it bec it's because he wants us to pray over them so I saw this vision in my dreams before and I prayed with people on Facebook and another man of God also confirms the same vision and Bishop Kazila for him to be arrested why was he arrested if he was just simply calling for prayer is anyone in government connected to what is happening in terms of spiritually is cr1 telling the truth in terms of that these these people that have collected powers from him and they need to make sacrifices in order for them to be where they need to be i know i don't want to be too political but i just thought i should share this video for you guys there to pray with this man of God. As a Zambian myself, I am concerned that even the Minister of Religious Affairs, I think that ministry should be abolished anyway because there's nothing concrete she's really doing. In 2021, I don't think we need the Ministry of Religious Affairs. That's taxpayers' money that is just going to waste and yet she's not even helping fellow Zambians. She was able to host a press brief over CR1, but has not even talked about the ritual killings. Now, they are trying to cover up with the ritual killings, especially with the media. And then secondly, there's also an aspect of poisoning. There's been poisoning situations that are happening as well in Zambia. If you watched my live stream on Facebook a few days ago, I think it was on a Tuesday or Monday, I wore purple lipstick and I said immediately as I was speaking, I just felt this word message of poisoning. And I said, there will be poisoning because the ritual killings will, will be too much and people will be thinking, ah, 
it's too much what's this there'll be suspicion so by poisoning in food in drinks in water in whatever it, it won't be obvious that this person has died of poisoning so you have to protect yourselves be careful just listen to what this man of god has said and i love the fact that sia one has exposed what is going on in as much as zambians are called for this national prayer day every year to pray and yet within the body of government there's people that have signed up to evil deities and at the risk of our lives as zambians they have partnered with these evil deities so cr1's exposure is very very important it's crucial that we take it very seriously i know people will say don't believe him he's a scammer he's a nigerian there's no smoke without fire why was bishop kazila arrested because he announced that we should pray over the ritual killings and then cr1 talks about why should you arrest a man of god because he asked for prayer and then he decides to threaten threaten government and then there is action towards uh cr1 more than what is happening in zambia the focus has shifted among everything that is happening in zambia all the problems that people have everything is on standstill and everyone is focused on cr1 why why should people be focused on CR1 if he's not their problem, if they've never collected anything from him? Why should they be worried about what CR1 has to say? Why should they report his page to Facebook like I told you, you guys yesterday in my video? It's because they know they have a connection. CR1 knows what he is talking about. And that's the reason why they've shut his Facebook down so that he shouldn't release any videos or even do any Facebook Live. And you know, the day that he did his facebook live for those of you who follow me on my youtube channel religiously we did a live stream on 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 youtube it's like i had a feeling that something was going to happen to his uh, youtube channel um, facebook page so i i did that live stream on my youtube channel I was like just in case anything happens I, I i don't want to regret that i don't have this because it's always good to hear things from the horse's mouth and cr1 was saying a lot of things the video is 52 minutes a lot of deep secrets that we we may not even be aware of and most of us are naive we think oh no it's impossible i mean why would these people be doing this when they're always having a national prayer day well people can do anything because they are selfish just because somebody smiles at you and says they love god or let's pray does not mean that they believe in god and like i said yesterday Simon Mwewa was supporting people and saying, oh, the, the, I've spoken to the mayor and the mayor says he's not connected to CR1 and even the ring that he's wearing, I talked about the ring yesterday, the rings that he's wearing is, was a present from uh, his friend or mom, I don't even know the, the, the story, I wasn't really bothered to read about it, but be careful what you support, be careful who you defend just because i told this to simon just because somebody smiles at you you look at them you know daily or you think you know their lifestyles you don't know where they go at midnight when they say they are sleeping we've watched nigerian movies we've seen how people would be in bed but their spirit and their soul has gone elsewhere so be careful what you defend so it is my plea that we pray for the nation of zambia all these things that god is doing to expose what uh, pastors are doing behind the scenes prophets are doing behind the scenes is because he wants us to open our eyes and i believe god is using cr1 to expose their evil and dark side so i'll leave you with this video with that guys thank you for watching my youtube channel it's a girl little more times also known as gelo said and pray with this video because there's a prayer at the end of it all take care I was visited by the Holy Spirit today, Amen. this morning, as I was lying on my bed. Uh -huh. And when he came, he took me into the spirit realm. Uh -huh. And I found myself on the streets of Zambia, uh -huh. on the roads of Zambia. Uh -huh. And I saw different types of roads, different types of towns, yes. different types of cities and villages. Uh -huh. He was just taking me from one place to the other. Why was he taking me? Because when he took me, I saw people, women, men some of them were children i saw them lying on the streets and blood was coming from each and every one of them some of them it was even to the point where 
as they as they as they flew out of the bus and they fell on the ground i saw other cars driving over them mm. horrible 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 amen. amen resist the devil and he will flee from you the lord told me that there are people in this our land of Zion uh -huh. who are into deep witchcraft thank you are you hearing me amen deep satanism and the deity they are connected to uh -huh. has demanded blood of human beings. Amen? Amen. And it is the normal Zambian who is going to pay for that blood. So in the realm of the spirit, there is a barrel. Uh -huh. And the barrel has not even reached half. And the barrel has to be full before the end of next year. The barrel has not even reached half. And it has to be full before the end of next year. And I, I saw, I saw on Muabantu yesterday that there is, a, there is some kind of ritual killing going on in Tingola. And one of my daughters sent me a message. Yes, sister. Sent me a message that, Papa, when you prayed and I got a job, I got a job in Tingola. And the, the manner people are dying in Tingola like goats and chicken. I need your covering and I need your prayer. Uh -huh. And I heard even a man of God has been arrested for speaking against it. I don't know the details about it. Amen? Amen. But that is my issue today. Amen. My issue is that from where they are now, uh -huh. the next chapter, you are going to see a lot of accidents. Take it from me because I have seen it in the realm of the spirit. And the reason why I saw it it's not for me to say it so it comes to pass. Uh -huh. no, no, no. So I am proving the prophet. Uh -uh. The reason why I saw it, yes. is because God says in this house, uh -huh. we have the grace of intercession. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The of intercession. Yes. To stand in the gap. Amen. Amen. So as a church, we have a responsibility to pray. Amen. Listen. When the police killing started, uh -huh. did we not prophesy about it before it started? Yes. We prophesy about it. Did it stop? No. no. It only stopped when we decided to what? To pray. pray. And when we prayed, has any police died again? No. no. So there is a grace of intercession on this ministry. Yes. yes. And we are all going to join our hearts together. Yes. Join our spirits together. I yes. Know. Because it might be you. Uh -huh. who will be traveling with that bus uh -huh. or even in your own car uh -huh. and you will never return again yeah. and there is a spirit that has been sent all over the land of Zambia mm. to ensure that people die and they will die miserable kind of death through road accident I'm talking about road accident yes I'm not talking about what is happening in Chingola the ritual killing mm. I'm talking about the next chapter mm. amen amen are we ready to pray amen when the righteous keep quiet uh -huh. And they don't pray in a nation. Uh -huh. Eventually, when evil takes place, it even affects the righteous. Thank you. Thank Lift you. up your two hands yes. and shout, My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. As I clap my hands to pray. As I clap my hands to pray. I take authority. I take authority over the principalities. Over the principalities that rules the nation of Zambia. That rules the nation of Zambia. Then it's Satanic gatherings, any satanic parts of witchcraft, of witchcraft, of satan, of satanic against the people of Zambia, against the people of Zambia. As I clap my hands, as I clap my hands to pray, I command fire, I command fire, and I destroy, I destroy, scatter by fire, I destroy by fire, I destroy by fire, Holy Ghost. Fire, 
Let's go to Isaiah 49 verse 26. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 26. I will feed those who oppress you with their own flesh. Be drunk with their own blood. Say my father, my father. My father, my father. Whoever, whoever, whatever, whatever is looking for blood. Is looking for blood. Through satanic means. Through satanic means. Over the land of Zambia. Over the land of Zambia. Accident. Accident. You are killing. Ritual killing. As I stand on the word of God to pray. As I stand on the word of God to pray. From today. From today. May they eat their own flesh. May they eat their own flesh. May they drink their own blood. May they eat their own blood. Every power. Every power. Blood sucking demons. Blood sucking demons. We stop you. We stop you. In this land of Zambia. In this land of Zambia. We stop you. We stop you. We stop you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand. Oh Jehovah God. Yes. One shall put to flight a thousand. Yes. Two shall put to flight ten thousand. Yes. Where two or three are gathered in your name. Yes. There mm. you are. Yes, yes Lord. For the ears of the Lord. Yes. Are, are attentive to the prayer of the righteous. Yes. yes. The fervent prayer of the righteous available. Yes. yes. As I prayer. Yes. yes. My faith is connected. Yes. To every believer in this house today. Yes. Amen. And we stretch forth our hands over the land of Zambia. Yes. We stretch forth our hands over the people of Zambia. Yes. We lift the voice of prayer. Yes. Over the land of Zambia. Yes. We lift the voice of prayer. Yes. Over the people of Zambia. Yes. And we decree and we declare. Amen. The spirit of bloodshed. Amen. The spirit of accident. Amen. The demon of bloodshed. Amen. The demons of accident. The demon of ritual killing. Yes. We are rescued today. Amen. We are rescued today. Amen. We are rescued today. Amen. I speak as the oracle. Yes. yes. That accident shall not. Yes. And cannot. Yes. Possess the people of Zambia. Yes. We shall not be hearing on the news. Yes. That there is an accident here. Mm. Uh, by evening we hear another news uh -huh. by the next morning we hear another news yes. we stop it in the name of jesus yes. we stop it in the name of jesus yes. we stop it in the name of jesus yes. we pray for the people of singola yes. we pray for the people of copper bell yes. we pray for the people in that province yes. from today yes. any witch doctor involved yes. any ritualist involved yes. we expose them to be arrested we have marked up to be arrested. We have marked up to be arrested. Any man uh -huh. behind who is sending men yes. to go and kill uh -huh. and take parts of bodies yes. in Singola uh -huh. as they go to bed, yes. may they not rise again. Hey, Hallelujah. Throw your weight about. Yes. Throw yourself about. Yes. Let the devil know who is in charge in Zambia. Yes. Thank you. Let them know. Yes. Who is in charge uh -huh. in the land of Zambia? Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes. That you have answered our prayer. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. I don't even know what type of government we have that is not concerned and why we even have the ministry of religious affairs because the ministry of religious affairs should be looking for prayer warriors to tackle these spiritual things and not attacking cr1 in south africa who is busy with his church what's your concern now when people are being killed in in, in zambia more than what cr1 has to say so set your priorities right Madam Sumaili, and it can be that so many people are complaining about the same thing. 
it means that this issue is very serious and spiritual and we should take it on a spiritual level.